name's Constance Finney and um, I'm a CTN Fellow. We're looking at um, immune responses to HIV, so it's a, a basic science project where we're trying to understand um, how the virus um, works in the gut because when you get HIV what happens is the virus attacks your immune cells and a lot of those are in the gut and so surprisingly there's a lot of things happening in your gut and for a long time people didn't realize that but now it's becoming apparent that that's the case so we're going to look at not the CD4 cells so not the cells that are actually directly infected by HIV but all the other immune cells around those cells what they're doing what they're up to how are they getting disrupted by the virus and that's going to be my project with the CTM. I actually find infectious disease in general fascinating. I find the fact that we have these viruses and these pathogens inside us that can survive and manage to survive for a long time, right? When you have HIV, you can survive for an extremely long time. Um, and so the virus keeps changing and evolving and, and adapting to what we do to it. And I actually find that very interesting. But I also want to find out how it's doing that so we can get rid of it because as interesting as it is <laughs> um, I also want to you know try and do something so we can understand what's happening to the immune response because even if we get you know these drugs or these pills they're all very good to get rid of the virus but sometimes your immune system has been so affected that actually you need to understand what's happened to it so you can help it get back on its feet just getting rid of the virus might not be enough you may need to help those cells get back to where they were before the virus so that's an aspect that people aren't necessarily looking at they're looking at trying to destroy the virus or getting a vaccine to not get the virus in the first place but actually there are a lot of diseases not just HIV where the immune system is just going to need that bit of a boost to get back to 100% and this is one way of kind of looking at that and trying to tease out what's going on so we could do that.